Welcome to Creamer Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, Denison Mines touts the Athabasca uranium find. Kinross CEO Ty Burt plays his cards close on plans for Redback shares. And Uranium One closes the door on Dominion and remains mum on its Paladin stake. Denison Mines CEO Ron Hochstein has suggested that the Phoenix uranium deposit on the Wheeler River property in Canada's Athabasca Basin could be one of the most promising discoveries in two decades in the uranium-rich district. Liesl Hill has the story. Denison Mines has an exciting uranium discovery in the Athabasca Basin region of Canada. Well, the Phoenix deposit we think is one of the best new mineral discoveries in, in the Athabasca Basin in over 20 years. Uh, already after uh, just a short period of drilling, uh, it's already the fifth largest, based on in-house in estimates of the resource, is already the fifth largest deposit discovered in the Athabasca Basin. And what about the company's more advanced projects in Canada, Mongolia and Zambia? Really on those projects, but in just about every location, whether it's Canada, even with the grades, uh, you got higher capital costs given the location, uh, Zambia, Mongolia, we're, we're going to need 60 to $70 a pound plus in order to make those projects move forward. Toronto-based gold miner Kinross CEO Ty Burt isn't giving anything away about his plans for a 9.4% stake in West Africa-focused redback mining. Yesterday we announced we we're making a $600 million investment to, create a to gain a strategic 9.4% equity interest in redback mining. That investment redeploys cash on the balance sheet into a key stake in a high-growth, well-managed gold mining company with assets in West Africa. The rationale for this investment is simple. West Africa has been a region of tremendous growth in our sector, showing impressive increases in gold reserves, almost a double the reserves there in the last five years, to some 90 million ounces. Proven and probable gold reserves are going to continue to increase in this region and we want to be there early. We've consistently said we like the gold <coughs> potential and would invest there where we saw the right asset along with an exceptional management team. The transaction also gives our investors enhanced leverage for the gold price through investment in a high quality gold producing company with excellent growth potential. Uranium One has finally sold its Dominion projects in South Africa, bringing an end to what CEO Jean Nortier called a sad chapter for the miner. The company has also acquired shares in rival Paladin Energy as an investment, but that's all Nortier will say. It's a sad chapter in the history of, uh, of our company, uh, but we had to close that chapter. Uh, we certainly weren't going to try and bring Dominion back into production. It certainly uh, was going to require too much capital and uh, we found better opportunities elsewhere. Um, so yes, it's a, it's a sad chapter, but it's closed and we're glad that it's behind us. There's not much to say other than the fact that we like uranium assets. Um, we've uh, been open about the fact that we like assets in Africa and that we'd be looking towards the African environment. For now, the investment in Paladin is simply a, uh, uh, an investment, uh, a small investment for investment purposes. Um, as we've said a few times, every time people ask, uh, we reserve the right to buy more to sell our shares in, in Paladin. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.